After a 4-28 and season last year, Cards fans were anxious to see some positive signs from Kenny Payne's second UFL team. 1980 champ Tony Branch and Simmons College up first in exhibition play. Freshman Curtis Williams to freshman Dennis Evans for the slam to get things started. The big fella had nine points, nine rebounds, and four dunks. But the Cards turned the ball over 12 times in the first 12 minutes. Not a great look. Some other newcomers, though, showing their stuff early. USC transfer Trey White. Most people think he's probably the best player on the team. He scored 10 of his 12 points in the first half, did show some flashes. The Cards closed the half on a 24-1 run to finally take control. Freshman Curtis Williams led all scores with 15, hit five of six from the field, three of four from three. Now, as for the returnees, Mike James had 13 points and seven rebounds, and J.J. Trainer finished with 10.6 rebounds and three blocks. A 91 to 50 starting point for year two. Here's Dominique Gates with the reaction. Louisville men's basketball opened up exhibition play with a 41 point victory over Simmons College, but it took a while for the Cardinals to get control of this basketball game. And head coach Kenny Payne said he was disappointed in the sloppy moments throughout the game, but he said there were glimpses that leaves him very optimistic. Focus on being vicious. Focus on being desperate. Focus on taking care of the ball. Focus on taking good shots. And let's see where we end up. If we get a group of guys that can focus on the little things that it takes to be a great team, how good can we be? And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Who can be a part of that? A new group coming in. We're still adjusting to how everybody plays, the pace everyone plays at, and how we're supposed to play as a, as a team. The Cardinals have an opportunity to correct some of those mistakes Monday, October 30th, when they have another exhibition against Kentucky Wesleyan. From the KFC Yum Center, I'm Dominique Yates, WLKY Sports.